In this video, we'll go over how you can import collections into Postman. If you're looking to import or migrate larger chunks of data, you'll want to check out our longer video on importing and exporting data in Postman, which is linked in the description. For this video, we're just going to focus on importing collections. Collections are executable documentation for APIs and API workflows, and they are designed for sharing. You're probably already working with collections you've created in Postman, but there are also cases where you might need to import a collection into Postman. For example, maybe you have a collection you've been working on outside Postman, or you want to work with a third-party collection that's publicly accessible, but might not yet be available to fork from the public API network. To get started, locate the collection you want to import. This could be a JSON file that you have locally, or it could be hosted somewhere on the web. If you're importing API documentation that's hosted publicly, you'll be able to paste in a URL or curl command, or even the raw JSON. So open the workspace you want to use, and select Import in the sidebar. From this window, you can either paste the content into the request bar at the top, or if you're importing a file, drag and drop the collection file, or click Files and Folders to open a file browser. If you're only importing one file, Postman will convert the uploaded file into a new collection right away. When you import multiple collection files, Postman will prompt you to select each collection you want to import. You can look at the Import As column to verify that Postman sees it's a valid collection, since you can also use this process to import other data and elements. Now the footer shows a message saying Import Complete. I can see any collections I've imported here in the sidebar of my workbench, and I'm ready to start sending requests. Yeah.